Operation Data Lock isn't just an exercise, it's a crucial wake-up call. Here, a fictional financial services firm faces a severe ransomware attack. This scenario tests the resilience and readiness of their cybersecurity systems and protocols. Cybersecurity isn't optional, it's fundamental. In an era where data breaches are both frequent and devastating, preparedness is key. This exercise aims to arm participants with the necessary skills to react swiftly and effectively in real-life situations. Why simulate? Because practice makes perfect. In the digital age, being unprepared is being vulnerable. Let's dive into the frantic first moments of the breach. At 8.05 a.m., the first signs of trouble appear. Employees can't access network drives. It initially suspects a server issue until a ransom note is found. The note is stark, demanding cryptocurrency within 48 hours. Panic is immediate, but so is action. The IT department springs into response, verifying the extent of the breach. The clock is ticking. Every minute counts in identifying the source and scope of the attack. IT's rapid response sets the stage for the unfolding crisis management efforts. Technical assessment kicks in swiftly. The ransomware, identified as a new variant, has encrypted critical data. The scope? Extensive customer transactions, employee details, loan applications. Identifying which systems are compromised is critical. IT and security teams work in tandem, charting the malware spread across the network. This information is crucial for formulating a response strategy. Understanding the enemy is half the battle. The detailed technical diagnosis guides the next steps, containment and mitigation. Communication is critical. By 8.30 a.m., the communications team drafts initial messages. Internally, the goal is to inform and instruct staff without causing undue alarm. Externally, careful consideration is given to client communications. Regulators and media may soon be in the loop. The message must be clear. The situation is under control and measures are being taken. Transparency and timeliness in communication help manage the narrative and reduce misinformation. Balancing transparency with discretion protects client trust while safeguarding the firm's reputation. This dual approach defines the firm's communication strategy. By 8, 45 a.m., the legal department is mobilized. Data breach laws require certain disclosures, what needs to be reported and when. Compliance issues are immediate. The breach involves sensitive customer data. Regulations dictate stringent response measures. Legal's role is to navigate these waters, avoiding legal pitfalls while ensuring compliance. The team also prepares for potential litigation, assessing liabilities and strategizing defense. Legal considerations are interwoven with every decision made, from breach disclosure to ransom negotiations. The dilemma looms large to pay the ransom or not. Financially, the sum is significant, but potentially manageable. Ethically, paying could fund criminal activities and encourage future attacks. Alternatives are weighed. Could decrypting the data independently be feasible? What are the risks of prolonged downtime? Senior management debates these points intensely. The decision will shape the firm's response strategy and could set precedents for handling future cybersecurity incidents. It's a pivotal moment in the crisis. At 9.00 a.m., the decision is made to engage external experts in law enforcement. Cybersecurity experts bring specialized knowledge that could help decrypt data or contain the spread. Law enforcement offers additional resources and can coordinate with other agencies. Their involvement brings both expertise and an official capacity to the response efforts. Timing and manner of engagement are strategic. This collaboration needs to be seamless to bolster the firm's defensive and investigative measures effectively. Disaster recovery plans are more than documentation. They're a lifeline. Now they're activated. The team assesses the integrity of backups and existing data. Continuity strategies are crucial. Alternative business processes are considered to maintain operations. The firm explores every avenue to ensure business functions can continue with minimal disruption. This phase is about resilience, keeping the business alive while battling the crisis. The effectiveness of disaster recovery plans is put to the test.
At 10.30 a.m., a devastating update. Recent backups are compromised. The ransomware had deeper hooks than anticipated. The situation escalates. Options narrow, pressure mounts. This twist forces a reassessment of the entire response strategy. The team must think on their feet, adapting to new realities. Finding alternative solutions becomes critical. The team explores every possible angle, technical, operational, and strategic, to navigate this intensified crisis. Immediate action is required to prevent further spread. The team works to isolate infected systems, creating digital quarantines. Containment strategies involve both software solutions and network adjustments. The goal is clear. Stop the ransomware from causing more damage while preserving critical data integrity. Efforts here are about damage control. Each step in containment is carefully measured to ensure maximum effectiveness with minimal impact on business operations. As the day progresses, resolution strategies take shape. Whether through negotiation, technical solutions, or a combination of both, the team seeks closure. Decisions made earlier in the day are now executed. The firm navigates the final stages of the crisis, aiming for a resolution that minimizes damage and restores operations. Each action is a step towards recovery. The firm's agility and decisiveness play crucial roles in steering towards a resolution. Post-crisis, the debrief begins. What worked? What didn't? The team examines each aspect of the response, from initial detection to final resolution. Lessons are distilled from the crisis. Insights gained are invaluable, shaping future cybersecurity strategies and responses. This reflective phase is essential for growth. It turns experience into proactive preparedness, enhancing the firm's resilience. The crisis spawns a series of follow-up actions. Cybersecurity defenses are bolstered, response plans updated, and staff undergo further training. A schedule for regular reviews and drills is set. The firm commits to maintaining a vigilant and responsive cybersecurity posture. Continuous improvement is the goal. Each step in this phase builds on the lessons learned, strengthening the organization against future threats. Operation Data Lock ends not just with a resolution, but with a renewed commitment to cybersecurity. The exercise underscores the importance of readiness and resilience. Cyber threats evolve, but so do defenses. Through rigorous preparation and reflective learning, organizations can fortify themselves against the digital dangers of tomorrow. In the world of cybersecurity, the only constant is change. Staying ahead means staying prepared. Operation Data Lock is a testament to that philosophy.